Bierman got them. Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to your weekly broadcast of 267AG. You're listening to 267AG The Bard, your premier source for topical political discussion, broadcasting, as always, from the outskirts of Gunder, here in scenic central Mergen. This week, Headmaster Gaius Volt, the prestigious and renowned College of Arcana Major, made a controversial announcement that has had spinning throughout the nation. Volt intends to establish a new scholarship initiative aimed specifically at young sorcerers and warlocks born in Migas. His stated goal to this initiative being to foster collaboration between Megan and Megarian scholars, as well as furthering the cause of arcane development. However, while Volt framed this scholarship as wholly positive, there are several parties who think it might actually prove counterproductive for the college by enabling residents of Migas to learn what Mergen has researched, and then teach it to others back on their native soil, ultimately cutting Mergen out of the picture entirely. There is also some concern that this will allow dangerous foreign elements to enter the country under the pretense of higher education, given the location of the college far past our national borders with Migas, and that it may inevitably mean we face Megarian knowledge on the opposing side of a conflict. Much of these concerns are naturally rooted in the perennial warring state of Megan internal clan politics. But with me today to discuss the implication of Headmaster Volt's announcement are Professor Uriel Tallowstreak, a lecturer of transmutation at the college. Hello. And political author Bart Brokendus, writer of the Foundations Upon Securities. Yes, hello. So I think the first element of this particular subject that we need to discuss is what exact benefit there is to Mergen for inviting these foreign students. Uh, Professor Tallowstreak. Magus was put on the map by its enchanting knowledge, including development of the gems used to make this very broadcast. That same knowledge could be imported to Megan Arcane Studies via this initiative. Mr. Broken Tusk, how do you respond to these statements? Volt has just put this forward to try and push his agenda of borderless research as if development happens in a total vacuum beyond the rest of civilization. This can't be done. So you think there may be some potential dangers for foreign students residing in the college? Of course. So, Professor, do you think that there is dangers as well? Technically, Megas has been at war with Magan for 250 years or so, and they've never made an offensive against us, so any notion that these young students from the clans will pose threat is just pure fear-mongering. I mean, I don't see there being any danger. No danger, she says, but they're officially at war with us, and have been for centuries. They're a tribal society whose achievements of enchantment have been driven by constant internal conflict. A people whose very culture is built on war and better weapons than the next guy. Inviting such people into the heart of our nation is asking for terrorists to creep in and destroy one of the largest stores of arcane knowledge in the world. How can you label these young children and students as terrorists? It's not a label that I have given them, it's a label that they've given themselves. They're a culture of barbarians who want nothing but war. Putting aside the internal structures and conflicts of Migas for the moment, uh, what kind of benefits and dangers do we see to emerge in the long run from this idea? Professor Talistrick. Well, I really don't see any danger from this. The backflow of Megarian academia into Megas may serve to stabilise and advance the region beyond its current tribal standings. To say no- nothing of the potential benefits to Megan itself by interacting peaceably with the enchanting, focused nation, any perceived dangers are just xenophobic nonsense. Nonsense, she says. Teaching foreigners is just going to cause havoc in our cities and townships. And when Megas finally does make its move against us, we'll be fighting our own stolen magic across the trenches. And that's if we're lucky. If they decide to sell the knowledge to other nations like they do with their own enchanted gems, then it could lead to war with little chance of survival. I think that's just plain idiocy. You're just an ignorant racist, unwilling to even acknowledge the fact that you only exist because of immigration schemes with far less social merit than this one. You're only here to cause trouble, so discard and promote your stupid little book. Magic does not discriminate between kinds and kingdoms. It is universal, and we must treat it as a unifying element instead of this a d- divisive one. If you fear the advancements of others, wouldn't you rather know about them before they're used against you? You are a foolish and naive child-sized imp with delusions of grand morality. You think just because you make broadcasts on these gems today that they won't be used against us tomorrow. That knowledge is a benign entity that will do no harm. 
You want us to arm our enemies in the name of collaboration and progress and ignore the inevitable consequences. Consequences that can and will lead to the destruction of what we hold dear. Do you truly believe that this is worth it? Headmaster Volt's initiative will go into effect following the following month. Students are expected to apply in the following weeks. Meanwhile, public concern continues to rise as the BPMC has no leads on the whereabouts of the Vergen Troll. The exception to this information blind spotted the creature's antics in gathering food by raiding various livestock farms in the region, which have now earned it the nickname The Hillside Havoc. I'm sure he'll be all the name of progress, too. The last verified sighting of the creature at the time of this broadcast was two weeks ago on one such outing. Until next week, however, that is the end for this particular broadcast, so keep your crystals spinning and we'll see you next time on The Bard.